Alright, in video number two here, we're going to use some of the tools that we have learned in Safari to actually get some, some Google searching underway. Okay? So last time we learned that if we know a specific website that we want to go to, we can type it up here in our address bar. But if we want to search for something, we can go to this Google bar over here, click there, and type in whatever you want to search for. So let's search for a Chia Pet. Google website will show up with all this massive list of search results, okay? And I'm just going to give you a few tips on how to uh, search and save websites um, uh, most easily, I hope. First, we all know that as we start this whole process of searching for stuff and browsing for stuff, whether it's shopping or research or news or whatever, you kind of follow the rabbit trail and one link after another and then you forget kind of where you started and it's difficult to get back to the first web page that you came from. So, for example, I'll click on this Chia Pet Wikipedia article and then I want to know about the featured content and then I find this really interesting and then I want to know about the constellation Pegasus and that's really neat but then I decide Andromeda and then you know, blah, blah, blah. You can see how, you know, where did I start? Now you could click this back button up here a hundred million times to get back to your starting page, but Safari has this neat feature built in, this orange arrow up here is for snapback, which is basically going to take you back to the page that you kind of started on. So you notice that when I click this, we're back instantly to our Google search page without having to click the back arrow button up here a bunch of times to get back here. So just make a note of that. If you are uh, doing your searches, don't forget to click on the orange arrow in your search bar uh, to kind of start over again. Another useful feature can be tabs. Um, tabs are not for everybody. They tend to be more of a power user feature, uh, kind of a more advanced feature, but they can be really useful. As far as I know, the easiest way to start a new tab is to hold down Command on your keyboard when you click on a link. So I'm going to click on the history of Chia Pets. Okay. And notice up here, below my bookmarks bar, this new bar has showed up. This is my tab bar. Okay. Tabs are a way of uh, viewing multiple web pages at the same time without taking up a lot of different windows. Okay. So you'll notice here, I have one web page here. And one web page here. This is the history of the Chia Pet. And this one over here on the left side is my Google search. Okay, But they're both kind of included in this one window right here. I only have one window open. Um, the alternative, the messy alternative, if you don't use tabs, is to go to File and choose a new window. Right, And here you have two windows, and then you can do your Chia Pet search again, and then you can go to the history of the Chia Pet. Right? But you'll notice that as I create more and more windows and Google searches and blah 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 then we start getting all of these different windows open and it gets a little bit confusing okay so instead I'm gonna close all of these extra windows and just use this one with multiple tabs in it and it's much neater to keep track of things so similarly I'm gonna hold down command on my keyboard and click other links so Amazon and <laughs> Chia Obama Dot com, um, and so now I have all of these different tabs in my window that are going to let me <laughs> that are going to let me uh, browse all these different websites while still keeping things neat. When I want to close a tab, I just move my mouse over the tab, and then a little X button appears here. I just click the X, and the tab goes away. So remember to hold down Command on your keyboard when you're clicking on links to open up those links in different tabs, and then you can browse through all your websites in a much more organized manner. One last tip, um, this will only apply to some of you. If you have a recent laptop with the multi-touch trackpad, or if you have a magic mouse, uh, it works a little differently on each, but you can use gestures on your trackpad to go back and forth between web pages instead of using these two arrow buttons in the top left corner. I almost never use these two arrow buttons up here anymore. 
unless I'm demonstrating for somebody else. Um, instead, on my trackpad, I take three fingers, put them on my trackpad, spread a little bit apart, and then you can swipe to the left to go back, or swipe to the right to go forward. Okay. You notice as I go left and right, it's hitting these forward and backward buttons for me. Okay. So this is uh, if you haven't already stumbled upon that feature, um, it just makes it so much more fluid to go. Uh, between all your different pages.